Welcome back to another video. Family, shouts out to the notification game. Glorilla lost money by signing to CMG and Yo Gotti. And by all means, man, shout out to Yo Gotti. He doing it real big. He got a hell of a roster on his label. And he's giving upcoming artists opportunity. But in this instance, Glorilla already had a hit song you got to think about it go back to the time like a soldier boy would have cranked that he already had a song that was so huge and so big he didn't need to sign with nobody he didn't need to go with nobody if he chose not to because the song was that big it's so many opportunities to come out of that she had it she could have dropped merch the ratchet merch whatever she could have did like i said before in previous videos working with all these other artists Everything she wanted to do, she could have did on her own. Her management could have took control and they could have really just made it money and kept a hundred percent of the profits. And not had to share or give Yo Gotti his certain amount. Yeah, everything is all gold and glitter and, and, and looks all great now with the money coming in and the and the, and the plane and all that. That's cool. But you could have had that. You she could have almost been her own boss. Like Gotti was his own boss when he was coming up doing his thing. She didn't need no help. She didn't need to sign. So instead of having all the profits coming to her, now she's going to have to give Gotti what's his. When she signed the contract, what's due to him? And she didn't have to do that. She could have had all the money for herself. Glorilla's song was so big, the summer anthem, that she did not need to have to sign away anything. She could have did that on her own, but it just shows laziness. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section of my.